How to improve visualizations created in V-Ray for SketchUp? We can do it using Adobe Photoshop. This is my visualization created in SketchUp and V-Ray. I will save it and open it in Photoshop. I click on the disk icon, save current channel, and save it in the folder. Then I open this file, right-click, open with Photoshop. This is our visualization, and first thing to do is to change the colors of this image. I think that it's too much green color in this picture, that's why I will change that. I go to the adjustment layer, this is a circle icon, and click on color balance. I will change colors a little bit. Okay, it's fine. And a little bit blue color. Okay, I think it looks very nice. We can check the difference, just click on the eye icon, this is the visibility of the layer, and we can notice the difference. The next step is to use curves. Thanks to this, we can lighten an image or create more contrast in the visualization. I click on the adjustment layer icon, and then curves. This is our curve, and here we can change some properties. Now the image is lighter or darker. I will create a little bit lighter color. Now I can use a mask in the curves layer to delete some areas from these light changes. That's why I click on the mask then go to the pencil tool, choose black color, and now using right mouse button, left alt, I can change the size and hardness of my pencil. I can set it something like this, and using black color, I will delete some spaces around the image from these curves changes because I want to have lightened areas in the center and darker outside the center of the image. Notice that our mask is black next to the edges and the corner and white in the center. That's why we have lighter areas in the center. I think it looks very nice. I want to have visible edges, that's why I will create high pass filter. Let's do this. I create new layer, then I press left control, left shift, left alt, and E, and I have new layer. This layer contains all the changes which I've created previously. I've changed color balance and curves. Then I will change the saturation of this new layer. I go to the adjustment layer, and then choose hue, saturation, and desaturate the image completely. I select two layers, Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer and Layer 2. Pressing Shift on the keyboard, I can select multiple layers, then right-click and merge layers. This is my new black and white layer. Then I change this layer to the Smart Object, right-click on the layer, Convert to Smart Object. Thanks to this, if I apply new filters to this image, I can change them anytime I want. Let's take a look. I click on the filter, then other, high pass, and I can create edges. Let's start with something very visible. For example, 10 pixels. I click OK. And now if I change my mind, I can always change the radius. Just double click on high pass filter and increase this value, for example, to 2.5. These edges are less visible. I click OK. And then I change the layer mode from normal to overlay. It's here. I will come a little closer. I zoom in. And we can notice the difference. If the layer is turned off, the edges are not very visible. If I turn it on, it's more visible. 
we can notice the difference. Remember that this effect cannot be too intense. That's why I will change the opacity of the layer to 32. It's time to create additional light. That's why I go to the folder and I prepared a light file. It looks like this. We can add this light to the project. If you want to find some similar assets, just go to the website freepeak.com and then search fog. As we can see, we can find a lot of files. A lot of assets are free, so we can choose whatever you want. I will add this light file to the project. Just click on it and drag to the left side. I press enter and then I can change the layer mode. Just click on the normal mode and change it to screen. Let's rotate it, place it a little bit higher, somewhere here. And using a mask, I will delete some spaces. So I click on the add layer mask icon, then click on the pencil tool, choose black color, and delete some areas. If you want to restore it, just change the color from black to white and you can restore some spaces. So we can erase them or again, restore them. I will change the opacity. I don't want to have such strong effect. I think that this light looks very nice. Let's create new layer. And then again, press left shift, left control, left alt, and letter E on the keyboard. Then I convert to the smart object, right click, convert to smart object, and I will use another filter. This will be camera row filter. Here I can change the color of the image, temperature, add vignettes, change contrast, highlights, everything you want to create a better image. I expand the basic tab and then change the temperature. Maybe a little bit yellowish. Remember not to set extreme values, just change them a little bit. Then I will change the highlights a little, shadows, add some saturation to the visualization, and then go to the optics tab, I expand this, and add vignette. Vignette is this black areas around the image. We can notice it in the corners. Let's change the midpoint. I think that it looks very good. We see the difference. Let's add one more adjustment layer. It will be color lookup. Here we can add some lookup table files. Let's choose them from existing ones. As you can see, the image is different. We can also download lookup table files from the web pages. Just write LUT download files and you can see a lot of web pages with free files. Just choose any of them and download lookup table files. Thanks to them, the image will be improved. I prepared my own file and I will use it. I click on the color lookup, then load 3D LUT and choose the file. We can notice difference. If this effect is too strong for you, just change the opacity to 50%. Let's check the difference. I will group these created layers and we can notice a difference. In a few minutes, we improved our image. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edag.org with even more. SketchUp courses. See you soon. Bye.